Hello everyone and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and I am documenting my journey to complete debt freedom and financial independence. Today is a Sunday or at least this is going to air on a Sunday. That means that it is the day for my savings challenges and we are in a new month, October. So new month means new challenges and it is also officially the month for liver disease awareness as well, which ties into not so much a savings challenge, but just a general well-being and self-care challenge that I have going on for October. So if you're interested in seeing some cash stuffing and then maybe learning a few new things about ways you can engage in self-care and take better care of yourself and your health and look out for you, stick around and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So um, I'll talk about the spend or die challenge that I had in a bit, but it is one of the challenges that I'm picking up for October. This one is from Chris Budgets. If you watch Chris, you will know that um, she likes to call herself, I even feel weird saying it, but she likes to call herself a savings challenge ho. Um, I'm a bit too old, I think, to fall into the ho category, so I'm just gonna call myself at my age a savings challenge cougar because I'm doing her challenge this month, and so I am giving myself that title, but I'll talk about that in a little bit along with some other challenges that I am doing. So I'll go ahead and get set up with my money, which is around here somewhere, ah, yes. So I always have my savings challenge money. Um, most of it is in the back of my binder and that is because I actually do take it out of my budget. Um, there's a few others that don't necessarily come from my budget that I work in as well. I'll talk about those as we go along. Um, I am moving a bit fast today. I'm having some issues with my phone not wanting to stay recording. I've actually had to record this a couple times. So um, yeah going to be moving a bit quick there. Starting off with my uh, $5 challenge. So anytime I get a five back after I uh, make a purchase, I keep the fives, I put those away into, nope, into um, my handy dandy binder and I uh, save them up that way. I'm gonna go ahead and flip around. So the main challenge that I have for October that I want to talk about, and this is my uh, health is wealth self-care challenge. So I am doing $10 per week for the month of October. And the purpose of starting this challenge is one, I like savings challenges, but also because October is liver disease awareness month. If you have been here at my channel for a while, then you know that due to a genetic based condition, I do have end stage liver disease, also known as cirrhosis. It is a terminal diagnosis because there is no cure. And uh, liver Disease Awareness Month happens to fall in October, which also happens to be Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is another, yeah, so breast cancer is a, another one that is very near and dear to my heart um, because I lost my aunt to breast cancer. She was 50 years old, but breast cancer awareness does get a lot of attention in general. It's a really large cause, and I wanted to try to bring some attention to, I guess, what are not necessarily less common, but like lesser known type of causes. And also, again, because I'm impacted by, by liver disease as well, was another. It's actually kind of ironic because my aunt was my father's sister. I lost my father when he was 50 years old and my aunt was 50 years old and I'm not yet 50 and I've already been diagnosed with a terminal illness. And so hoping that I can break that 50 mark and uh, yeah, make some changes in that. But the health is well self-care challenge. You don't have to do the savings challenge. What I really just want is for people to start focusing on taking care of themselves and becoming very in tune in knowing their bodies. It was in large part because I was so familiar with my body and with my health as a generally, you know, active and healthy person that when I started getting sick, I really knew that something was wrong. And I was really lucky that my doctor, 
she listened and she she took on board and I think that when you take time for yourself and, and you know yourself because you know your different nuances and idiosyncrasies it really does make a difference and a lot of times particularly us as women particularly women who are moms we feel guilty and we apologize for taking time to ourselves and we really need to stop doing that if you're not taking care of yourself you can't take care of other people if you don't love yourself you can't love other people and you can't be loved yourself as well so 30 seconds one minute five minutes anything that you can get the different icons aren't necessarily things that you have to do they're just things that mean that are important to me so uh, particularly you know things like meditation or just having some time and lighting a candle thinking reading listening to music any of that and so trying to do one thing for yourself every day throughout the entire month of October and there's a lot of people who have come on board and I truly truly do appreciate it I'll put up a list of the youtubers over here or over here there will be a list of a lot of the different youtubers that um, are taking part as well post up what you're doing on instagram support other people who are doing it as well because again you know yeah we do tend to feel bad or make apologies for doing it and i think if we support and encourage one another then it just becomes more normalized that it is okay to take time for yourself for whatever that is. So that's really the purpose behind all of that. If you wanna learn more about my history and my diagnosis with liver disease, yeah, I'll have some different cards and such that come up on that. Um, if I talk about it, it'll kind of, you know, take up the entire, the entire video, but I'll pop up some different information and then some of my previous videos where you can get some more of that. But as I've said, it is not an uncommon illness. Um, it is more rarely diagnosed. I am doing my 26 week challenge and this is with my uh, with my catacorns and so I am doing $55 this week and I've been working at getting some of the larger numbers out of the way. I think now that I've got this last one that is in the 50s out of the way I'll be able to um, yeah maybe drop down. So $55 going in to my 26 week and I'll be doing um, an exchange video coming up in a, another week and a half I think where I'll look at that otherwise I mean I've got a tracker so I don't need to necessarily go and count everything up my cyber Monday challenge so this is just to have Monday Monday money for the Monday or even the Friday or even before because it starts so early now after Thanksgiving there in the US for the online sales, there are some things that I do want to buy. I don't necessarily go online looking for sales of things to buy unless I was already planning on buying them. Anyways, so that is what that is going to be for there. And then my Boxing Day Challenge. And this week, um, we're doing $30 for the Boxing Day Challenge. So Boxing Day, again, if you are not familiar with the term, that is the day after Christmas when you are meant to box up all of your old items and donate them to give to others because you have received all new items yourself. And I have $30 going in to that envelope as well. And then I have my October savings challenges and I have two additional challenges. So I showed the one of Chris of Chris Budgets, but then I am also doing this really fun one, this really fun trick or treat. So this is by Caroline over at Caro Cash Budgets and she is here on YouTube and also on Etsy. This is a free challenge that she has. All you have to do is contact her um, through her Instagram and I'll have that linked down below. And she has three different levels for it, a $50 savings, $100, or $150. I am doing the uh, $150, and I am going to be donating this money um, to the cause, my cause as well. And so there's actually a couple of different associations. So the main associations that I'm going to be donating the money from the overall self-wealth challenge is for um, uh, Liver Foundation Australia and then also United States because there are people you know both in the United States and from Australia that are joining in that one for this one this specifically I will be donating to alpha1.org and that is the alpha1 
foundation here. So that is specifically for research around alpha-1 antitrypsin and alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. That's the protein. As I said, you know, a lot most often it manifests itself in lung disease. 10 to 15% of people is in liver disease and I'm in that 10 to 15%. So it will be specifically going there and I will leave their link if you would like to read more about it. Um, as I said, because it does start getting a bit technical getting into those different terms. So that is $30 that is going in for that one. And then in addition to that, I do have the, I feel so bad saying it, the challenge hoe, um, but she says it herself that she's a savings challenge hoe and I think she says it in a nice way so I can, yeah, I can say it um, as well. I just, eh, I feel bad calling, referring to somebody as a hoe. Um, yeah, but it's not the same as saying booty over and over and over again. I can be like booty, 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 but if I'm saying ho, 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 it better be Christmas. Uh, because it, otherwise it's just not nice. Anywho, she calls it her spend or die savings challenge. She also has her savings with Scully. And I realized after getting this one and printing it off, I'm like, yeah, spend or die while I'm also bringing attention to a terminal illness <laughs> probably is an interesting combination. So I'm just going to refer to it as a save or thrive. And I am going to continue what I was doing with Marlene's pirate booty challenge and that is whenever I remind myself that, Erin, we have coffee at home and I don't need to stop by anywhere to purchase, then I'm going to put that money in, but then I'm also going to match the amounts that she has on the headstones for each day. So Chris, this is how much I love you. I am parting with my coins, my coins that I put into my coin challenge and don't count up until whenever. So I have $1 for the first, $2 for the second, three dollars for the third and then also um ten dollars for not going not going out and and getting coffee now you can find this challenge in these challenges of chris on her etsy shop so her uh, youtube channel is called chris budgets but then her etsy shop is called chris prints it and i think they're a dollar us so it comes to about a dollar thirty something um australian if you're looking for something a little, what does he say, a little something something, a little extra to add. <laughs> I feel so dumb even trying to talk that way. It just doesn't suit. But hey, you know what? People are helping me out. I'm, I am, I am in. <laughs> so if you're looking for one that doesn't necessarily require spending money, but instead saving or trying to have um, more, you know, no spend days and such like that, this is a great challenge to do for that. So that was $10 that I added in there of, of my coins. Yeah, that one just didn't want to color, but oh well, not gonna worry about it. And then finally my 13 week challenge, still just doing $10 for, yeah, for that one. And for this week, that is a happy rainbow. Yay! So $10 going in there. So, as I said, I don't go through and count them each time because, well, I can just look at it and go, there's $50 in there. I know the counting of money is fun, but my videos tend to run really long as is um, on things. But, yeah, so there are the savings challenges for the first week of October. I do want to thank everybody for all of their support, their messages that they have sent, um, taking part in, in this challenge and sharing it and talking about the things that they are doing. I really, really do strongly believe that it is just the small things that make the biggest differences. And that's why I say taking care of yourself, prioritizing yourself. I know that we're all focused on different things and we're busy in different ways and we have a lot of different things going on, but just slow down at least one time per day, just slow down take some time for yourself, look out for yourself because you will become better in tune with yourself and you will know when something is just not right. You might not be able to articulate what's not right, but you you will, it's, it's those things. And I truly, truly do believe that it is because I was so familiar with, with myself and knowing um, that, you know, something wasn't right and having a really good and a really good understanding doctor and her listening to me and her not giving up as well because I had... So many of the symptoms and so many things that were showing, but so few things that were adding up within it. 
that it was just, you know, really that combination of not giving up and not brushing it aside because having a diagnosis later with something like cirrhosis, as I said, I'm at the very beginning. And so even though it is terminal, there's a lot that I can do and that can be done for maintaining a higher quality of life, preventing any more unnecessary damage. It's going to become, it's going to continue to damage and die off on its own. That's just the genetics. Um, thank you, mom and dad, because I had to have one gene from each of them. I can't stop that, but I can make changes now to try to mitigate that impact. And that is really what a lot of it is about, is mitigating the impact going forward. And you can do that with a lot of things because my symptoms would come and go. And if I just went, oh, well, it was only there for a little bit, but it's gone and therefore now it's okay, uh, things would have been missed. And then also, you know, not letting, not letting uh, Dr. Google drive me, but actually relying on my medical my you know my medical practitioner which i know in the u.s can be really difficult because it can be outrageously expensive uh, there's no other there's no other way to say that in terms of the health the healthcare industry there i don't think you guys have a healthcare system you have a healthcare industry this isn't about them you know this is about you so if you want to take part in that um even if you don't want to purchase it you don't have to but post up on instagram what you are doing to take care of yourself put in the comments down below what you have done these first three days of October, or the first two days, depending on what time you're watching this, if you're outside of Australia, what you have done for you to, to better care, um, to engage in some self-care for you. Always really curious to hear what people are doing. But, okay, if you made it this far and you did enjoy this video, do give it a thumbs up. Even if you made it this far and you didn't enjoy this video, still give it a thumbs up because, hey, why not? As always, do remember to um, choose kindness, show gratitude, always keep a positive mindset, and I will see you in the next video, which should be Wednesday uh, for Wealth Building Wednesday. All right, take care. Bye.